Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, College Music Society, for having me. This is my very first workshop with you, so I'm very happy to be here. And welcome to Copyright Protection and Registration for Music Majors, finally. And the reason I say finally is because I am going insane about the fact that this subject is not offered to music, aid, uh, music majors uh, on a regular basis. I teach at a comprehensive school of music here in Memphis, Tennessee, called the University of Memphis. Go Tigers! And uh, occasionally, I teach a master class on copyright to our band students. And occasionally, I teach a class to our music ed students. But for the most part, the only students at the School of Music who receive regular education on copyright protection and registration are the students in our music business program, of which I am the coordinator of that program. If your school of music does not have a music business program, there is a very good chance that none of your students receive information on copyright protection, which is amazing because copyright is what controls music in this country. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the things that your students and you as educators need to be informed about when it comes to copyright protection and registration. Let's see here. All right. First of all, just to clear up a few things, exactly what is copyright? Well, copyright is the right to copy. It's exactly what it sounds like. Copyright is a federal statute, United States Code, uh, Title 17. The most comprehensive copyright act that we work under today is the 1976 Copyright Act. Previous to that, the most comprehensive copyright act was the 1909 Act. There are still some works controlled by the 1909 Copyright Act, and there are some works controlled by the 1976 Act. So occasionally you may hear me say pre-78, post-78, and the reason I use 1978 is because the 1976 Act went into effect in 1978. So every once in a while you hear me say pre-78, post-78, but that's because the 1909 Act is also still in effect. Um, what does copyright protect? Well, copyright protects original, fixed, artistic works of expression. Artistic works. And there are eight categories of artistic works in the Copyright Act. They're listed. And they're, and they're not necessarily all inclusive. But most artistic works, right, that are original and that are fixed, fit within these eight categories. And when I say original, that means they cannot be copied or based, on, based upon another work, right? And when I say fixed, they must be put in some sort of a tangible medium. You must be able to touch them and see them, meaning the work must be either written down, or recorded, or taped, or transcribed in some way. The eight categories of original fixed works are, like you see above, literary works, um, dramatic works, pictorial, graphic, and sculptural works, pantomime and choreographic works, architectural works, sound recordings, and uh, did I skip anything? No, I think I got them all. The ones that are most pertinent to us as musicians are musical works, sound recordings, and motion picture and audiovisual works. Musical works are the compositions that you and your students create. Those are musical works. The arrangements that you make of those compositions are derivatives of musical works. Derivatives of musical works. The videotapes you make of your performances are motion picture and audiovisual works. And the recordings that you make of your performances are sound recordings. So compositions and arrangements and videotapes, and DVDs, and CDs, and cassettes, and vinyl, and whatever it is you're putting your music on, they all fit within categories of copyright protected works. That's why it's so important to me, and it still behooves me till this day, why we don't learn about this area of the law. Because everything that we create as musicians, and actually when I say we, it's interesting because I'm not a musician. 
But everything that we create as musicians, that you create as musicians, are governed by copyright law. So we have to have an understanding of this in order to understand what rights belong to us as part of what we create. So what are some of those rights?